the Kirby Bear Disc Diffusion Assay for testing antibiotic sensitivity. In this section, you'll learn how to determine the sensitivity of a bacterial culture to an antibiotic agent by disc diffusion assay. Labeling Muller-Hinton Agar Plates Appropriately label each Muller-Hinton Agar, or MHA plate, for each organism to be tested. Then divide each plate into four quadrants by a permanent marker. Inoculating the MHA plates. Dip a cotton swab in the culture to be tested and swab across the entire surface of the agar without leaving any gaps. Using the same swab, swab the agar in the direction perpendicular to the first inoculum. Repeat swabbing the agar at a 45 degree angle to the first inoculum that will result in a confluent lawn of growth. Then, let the plate stand at least 5 minutes. Implanting Antibiotic Discs Dip forceps into the ethanol beaker and burn off the alcohol while holding them pointed down over the Bunsen burner to sterilize. Keep the beaker of ethanol away from the flame. Obtain a disc impregnated with an antibiotic and place it on the surface of the agar in the center of a divided quadrant. Gently tap the disc with the forceps to ensure better contact with the agar. Place the rest of the antibiotic discs in the same manner. Finally, record the antibiotic disc codes and the corresponding quadrants in your lab notebook. Incubating the inoculated plates containing antibiotic discs. Incubate the plates with the bottom up in an incubator at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Discard all contaminated tools and waste into a biohazardous container and disinfect the bench. The plates can be stored in a 4 degrees Celsius refrigerator after incubating until the next period. Interpreting inhibition zones of the test cultures. After incubation, measure the diameters of inhibition zones in millimeters with a ruler. Use the standards for antimicrobial disc susceptibility tests guide to determine if the culture is resistant, intermediate, or susceptible or sensitive to the drugs.